What's going on guys? It's Stickwork from MaddenSchool.com and I'm here with another Madden 21 tip. Today we're going to be on the offensive side of the ball. We're in the Philadelphia Eagles offensive playbook and uh, we're in the formation single back deuce close. We're looking at the play PA stretch shot. I'm going to be showing you how to destroy cover 2 and cover 3 defenses with it. Um, we're initially up against a cover three, and we can approach this two ways. Uh, one, for the bomb play that I just, uh, you guys just saw, or two, we can go through a couple reads. So to do the bomb play against cover three, I'll show it one more time. Um, what I like to do is block the running back to cancel the play action. I like to put the triangle or Y tight end on a drag. He's going to be used as a check down. <clears throat> you're going to motion the circle or B receiver out to the right and then I like to slide protect right or you can double team um, or you can double team the uh, defensive end because you're going to want to roll out to the right if you're trying to bomb cover three so it'll work better So as you see what's kind of happening there, you're going to want a fast receiver at your square or X receiver spot. I'll show you guys in uh, replay what exactly happens. Um, so this uh, weird corner route by the circle receiver is going to take away this cornerback who's got outside third responsibilities. So therefore this post is going to come across uh, the inside or the middle third safety is not going to play him as soon as he gets out towards the numbers or starts going out towards the numbers. So as you see, Wentz delivers that throw in that wide open space for an easy touchdown. <clears throat> Go ahead and show it again. Show you guys just how easy it is. Um, it's fairly simple, and uh, you can definitely catch your opponent in a cover three. A decent amount of times right there we got underthrown um, kind because of, we got the pressure in our face but that's okay uh, so with an escape artist quarterback and a guy with a little bit more throw power would be uh, even more efficient <clears throat> but so if if say you get pressure like that that's when you just want to check it down to your drag and uh, kind of move on to the next play. So I'll show the drag one more time. You can just check it down and gain like eight yards, five to eight yards, and uh, move on to the next play. So now, <clears throat> if um, we're not looking to bomb the play up top, uh, we can, again, we block our running back. I put the triangle or Y tight end on a drag. And then if you want to add an extra route, I like to double drag the tight ends and put the X tight end on a drag as well. But if you keep the circle receiver where he is, um, we're going to mainly be looking for him. As you see right there, you're going to be able to throw it in that pocket. And uh, the cornerback is not going to be able to get to it and the purple doesn't play it unless they use uh, some crazy type of zone drop. So as you'll see, you'll just catch it in front of that cornerback every time. I did not mean to motion, but motion him back. Show it one more time. Then I'll show you guys the drag and then the double drags. Oh. So we did get block shedded there. If that happens, kind of just unfortunate. You know, we're double teaming that guy, so it shouldn't happen very often. And so as you see, you'll be able to catch it along the sideline. Uh, and then, like I said, you got your drag. And then if you do the double drags, you'll have either side. And I like the double drag concept with the tight ends. It's pretty difficult to guard. Um, so normally very easy to pick up a nice medium gain out of it. 
So again, single bag deuce close, PA stretch shot, go through a cover two now, go Tampa two. And uh, so we set it up the exact same way. What we're going to do is put the triangle or Y tight end on a drag, block your running back. And uh, this is going to look the same. So it'll look like that. <clears throat> and as you guys see, against the uh, cover two style defense, that circle receiver is much more open and uh, can easily turn into a touchdown itself. Again, I like to slide protect right or double team right to make it easier. But as you see how much space that circle receiver has, the cloud flat has absolutely no chance. <clears throat> and uh, well, that was a bad throw right there. But the safety has no chance of getting over there as long as you just pass lead to the outside. So you don't even need to roll out really. You can just stand in the pocket. And if you have a speedy receiver there too, Philadelphia Eagles are blessed with multiple uh, fast receivers. And you can easily uh, rack catch it and turn it up the field for an easy touchdown as you see right here. And then once again, um, you know, if you get pressured, just check it down to the drag. And then, like I said, you can run the double drags if you'd like as well. And uh, if you do that, you'll have both side drags. Show that drag one more time. And so that is what the play will look like against cover three and cover two. Uh, style defenses. I like this play because it's real simple. Um, it's like a one or two step read pretty much and uh, you can always gain some nice solid yardage especially out of a under center formation. It's nice to have a prolific pass that can really uh, destroy certain zone defenses and a Tampa 2 will be common against a running formation just because they'll be trying to stop the run and uh, so, yeah. So, as always, guys, it is stick work. I'm with MaddenSchool.com. Hope you guys enjoyed this tip.